My name is William Weaver. I've been part of the men's development program at Homes of Hope for eight months now. My name is Chris Granham. I started the program back in February 2nd of this year. Um, I grew up in a real small town. There wasn't a whole lot to do there. You know, I liked sports and hanging out and being active. As I was getting older, I'd go to the bars. You know, just seeing a different kind of lifestyle, I guess, enticed me. One thing after another, selling drugs, starts to using drugs. Active gang member. I've done about roughly seven years, day for day. State jails, state penitentiaries, just a progression of uh, darkness, and it just took control of me. I ended up trying methamphetamine, which became my drug of choice. It felt like when I did that drug the first time, I just ended up selling my soul to the devil. Um, I just didn't have hope for life, period. It was, it was pure darkness. I came home and I was 120 pounds at the time. I'd been on a meth binge for the last seven days. I saw my daughter and she was playing with my mom and I reached my hands out for her to run to me so I could pick her up and play with her. And she just, she was terrified. I mean, she looked at me like I was a monster. You know, just looking all around, there's my mom, my sister, my stepdad, my daughter, and just all looking at me scared. And I never felt so alone. Addiction absolutely stripped me of everything. Morals, dignity. My daughter, my mom. Time, time in prisons. My dad, my stepdad, my sister, my brother, my whole family just gone. Everything stripped me down to nothing. Before coming to Homes of Hope, I was in the Overcomers, and I'm listening to these people around me. They ask me, why don't I put an application in for Homes of Hope? And I just remember looking in and, and seeing them doing electrical work and, and having class. I just remember I wanted to be a part of it. I saw them doing something cool, and I always wanted to be an electrician, and it always interested me. And when I got to the program, there was a lot of, a lot of guys praying for each other, crying. And I started to listen and uh, started opening up and trusting. I had a feeling that I've, I haven't felt in a long time since I was a kid, and it was being a part of something that was good. And the biggest thing I'm getting out of Homes of Hope is not only, you know, skilled trades, but uh, discipline. You know, it's a, it's a big thing. Discipline is huge in life. up in the morning, cook breakfast and eat. And we're out the door at 5.05 and work out with the guys. 7.30, we're around the devotion table. And I'm telling you, that is like the most amazing part of the day. There's so much life being spoke there. It just, it just changes everything. off to work. Instruct us on how to do electricity work or construction work or anything like that. And then we work to about 3.30, cook dinner, bedtime, do it all over again. There's eight other guys in the house with me and they're always bouncing ideas off me, showing where I can improve and what I can do better. The owner of the Next Gen Contractors contacted me and, uh, you know, wanted to sit down over coffee and, and speak about a job opportunity. But when it comes down to it, I have mentors and brothers I can go to, and I know they'll listen and have my best interests in mind. I talk to my daughter every night now, and she's always telling me all these things she's learning in school, and always reciting the alphabet to me, and she's learning all these awesome things that she gets to tell me every night what she learned, and it's, it's awesome. And God's just been completely moving in all areas of my life, every day. I'm so thankful for Homes I Hope. I'm thankful for life today.